My name is Lars Kronmark, and I'm going to show you how to make this delicious bean enchilada made with pinto beans, spinach, and jack cheese. And let me show you my ingredients. Canola oil and some butter, onions, cumin, ground cumin, and garlic. Fresh spinach. I'm, today I'm using pinto beans. And uh, here on my left, I also have some salsa. You can certainly uh, uh, make your own or you can also buy it. Tomato salsa. Corn to cheese. Beautiful jack cheese with pepper and some feta cheese. I'm going to melt the butter right in here with some of the oil. Don't use it all. You need some laid on for uh, the uh, onions and for the uh, beets. So after you, when, as you're melting this, I'm going to use my brush and, and I'm going to brush my, my baking dish that I'm going to make my enchiladas in. You might uh, spray it at home with a Pam spray or vegetable spray of some type. I'm just going to go ahead and brush it all up. And for the tortillas, I chose a six inch corn tortilla. I'm just going to take this tortilla and I want to coat it in the butter and oil mixture, just briefly. One side, the second side, just to get it soft and slightly toasted. This makes them soft and easy to roll. After we toast the tortillas and keep them on the side, we're going to add the remaining oil to your skillet. In this, add your onions, add your garlic and cumin. Add a little salt and pepper and we'll coat it with the cumin oil that we just made by cooking this together for two or three minutes. We should get the onions nice and clear. A little bit of pepper. I keep the heat pretty high. The onion is now nice and translucent and well flavored. I recommend for you to have a lid close by since the spinners need to wilt and uh, collapse as I call it or become soft and cooked. So let me show you how I do that. I put them on top of the onions first. It's going to take a little bit of pushing and shoveling. Place a lid on top. We're going to add some beans in just in a few minutes also. Cook the spinach just enough so it gets soft but not overcooked. I'm going to go ahead and add the beans on top of this. This will be our filling. Don't forget that beans need a little salt. So again, adjust your seasoning with a little salt and pepper. Melt grated cumin, smell of onions. And I'm going to put the lid back on again just for another minute or so. Let me go ahead and make sure this is all tossed together really well. So here's our filling. We are going to use the jack cheese, the feta cheese, the tomato salsa, building our enchiladas. So let's go ahead and bring in our enchilada tray. You can use a square tray, oval tray, a cast iron tray, but remember this has to go in the preheated oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And let's go ahead and build an enchilada. First of all, take the enchilada. You can build two at the same time if you want to. Here we go. Take a little bit of salsa. Spread the salsa on the inside of your tortilla. Spread it all the way out around it, like this, about a tablespoon or so. And then take your filling. It has cooled off a little bit, but still warm. There we go. The reason why we like to use a little fitted cheese because fitted cheese has a little bit of salt in it, a little bit of spice in it, a little bit of flavor that's a little different from the jack cheese. The jack cheese is kind of my melting cheese. My jack cheese is going to be the cheese. I'm going to keep everything together and mix it perhaps a little more um, soft inside. I'm going to roll this up after I put this together. And I'm going to roll just barely together so it can barely close and leave the seam on the bottom. You see how I did that? And place it into your pre-buttered baking dish. Push them together because you have to make space for about 12. We have now filled the tortillas and are ready to bake off our enchiladas. I take my remaining tomato salsa and I want you to put it on top. Spreading it out in a thin layer. And your remaining cheese will be sprinkled also all over the enchiladas. Whatever you have left, use it up. I also like to put some of my feta cheese on top. It always looks very good. 
In your preheated oven at 350, we're gonna bake off the enchiladas for about 20 to 25 minutes and until it gets golden brown, but 20 to 25 minutes minimum. Let's see how they're doing. Cheese is melted. This looks great. I think we're ready to serve. And here's our finished enchilada, served while warm. Enjoy. Bon appetit.